Hey everyone out there and welcome to this tutorial on how to play Sex on Fire Kings of Leon acoustic. I know this song already has tons of tutorials but none of them are really suitable for an acoustic guitar performance in my opinion. So when you're more of an acoustic guitar player and perform rock songs like this on your own it tends to sound pretty boring and empty if you just play the basic chords. So in this tutorial I want to show you the basic chords that you can play as an absolute beginner of course but I also want to show you a couple of variations that you can use to spice up your acoustic performance by integrating lead guitar parts into the underlying chord progression. And we're going to start with the basic chords first. Okay, so if you're just here to find out the chords that you need to play along to the song, easy way, the only three chords that we need are going to be E major, which is 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. C sharp minor, which is a muted low E string, we cover it up with our index finger so it doesn't ring, and then 4, 6, 6, 5, and then either you play it suspended, so you don't even have to play a bar chord, you just play the open high E string, or you bar the strings so you have a regular C sharp minor bar chord. And last but not least, we just take this finger shape, lift up our index and middle finger and slide this down to the second fret so we have zero, uh, sorry, muted low E string and then zero, two, two, zero, zero. For this Aces 2 you can also play it with other fingers if you like but it's yeah, pretty comfortable coming from the C sharp minor to go to this finger shape of an Aces 2. For the verse chord progression we would just play four bars of E to four bars of C sharp minor or C sharp minor suspended you could either do the strumming pattern just down up the whole time, but I think it sounds better if you play it down, down, up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, and so on and so forth. Pretty easy. And then for the chorus, what we do is we play four times on uh, four bars on the E, two bars on the C sharp minor, two bars on our A sus two, and we could either just go play down up all the time, okay? Or what I like to do um, is to play down up only on the E, and then when we get to the C sharp minor, we play down. Aces to the same. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so the chorus would sound like this. And this is already it. So it works, but it doesn't sound really special, right? So what we're going to do now is to implement the lead guitar parts into the different sections. And we're going to start with the main riff. So we're going to play it with an E5 power chord, and that is an open low E string, that's 7th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, um, plus the melody note with our pinky on the 11th fret of the D string. You can also go and play a full E major bar chord if you wish, but I think that's really painful in my opinion, and it's hard to get to that 11th fret. And I also think that the melody note is more in the foreground if we use the E5 power chord, okay? Um, so this is what we're going to do for the E. We always play... Okay? We're going to talk about rhythm later, but we always go from 11 to 9 for our E. And for our C sharp minor, we're going to play a C sharp minor 7, which is a muted low E string, then a bar across the A to the high E string, a ring finger, 4th fret, sorry, 6th fret D string and middle finger, 5th fret on the B string, C sharp minor 11 with our melody note on the 7th fret of the D string with our pinky, okay? Alright, we play each chord for 4 bars with the alternating down up strumming pattern and we always play the higher melody note on the 4 and, which is always accentuated. Okay, so it sounds like this, first of all. Okay, the special thing about this riff is, 
um, and also the reason why many people play this wrong, is that the first note of the riff is not simultaneously the first note of the beat. It is actually on the four of the previous beat. Okay, a lot of people wrongfully start counting on the one um, because yeah, it's just internalized that the first note of a song also has to be the first one of the beat. But this is not the case here. So against our expectations, we start on the four of the previous beat, which is called anacrusis or pickup bar. Paul Davids has a really interesting video about this phenomenon and this riff is called "Why do some people? Uh, Why do so many people play this riff wrong?" And you should go check it out because it ex he explains it a lot better than me. Okay, so we what we can do to avoid this is to start counting on the previous, so on the empty beat, and then start on the four of this beat to go into the actual first beat of the following bar, like this. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, and. Um, I know this takes some getting used to and it feels weird at the beginning, but this is the way, okay? And that's already it for our verses. So we just keep on doing this four bars of E to four bars of C sharp minor seven with the melody changing notes in there. Always keep in mind to accentuate that down uh, the up strum on the four and to accentuate that melody note, okay? Um, so for the chorus, we're going to try and do the exact same thing to implement our riff, so this. gonna sound horrible. Sorry for that. It's really hard to bend on an acoustic especially without a cutaway but you get the idea. Um, we're going to implement this melody in a lower intonation into our underlying chord progression and this is how it's done. So we start off on this regular E major we're always just going to play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We do this for half a bar so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then we keep our ring finger on the D string and slide it up to the 9th fret and put our index finger to the 7th fret of the A string, okay? So, so we have the melody note in here. We also try to cover up the D string, uh, the G string, sorry, from ringing and play the open B and E string. Always try to focus more on the strings where the note is changing, so in this case on the D string. From here we go to this E major 11, uh, sorry E major 7, which is just the same chord shape but with our middle finger on the 8th fret of the G string. And then we put our middle finger onto the 7th fret of the A string and our index finger onto the 6th fret of the D string. Okay, and then from here we go to this kind of like a C sharp minor suspended thing. So that's a bar across the A to the high E string and our ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string and we play focusing more on the high uh, on the B string because that's where our melody note is. So then go play a C sharp power chord, so we put our pinky onto the 6th fret of the G string, because this is our melody note, okay, so... And then from here we go to this A with our ring finger on the 4th fret of the B string, because this is our melody note again, so... Sorry. To this A major 7 suspended, this our index finger on the first fret of the G string is our melody note here. So we have open A string, second fret D string, first fret G string, open B and E string. Okay, so all together this riff implemented into the chord progression sounds like this. Moving slowly. In between those melody notes, so you can always hear when the melody note is changing, you also change the chord, and in between those chord changes, so like here, you can 
pretty much do anything as a strumming always to like a down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, sorry, down, up, up, down, down, okay? But you can pretty much do anything you like. And that is already it for the whole song. So if you like this video, you should hit the corresponding button. And you might also want to check out my playlist on acoustic guitar lessons on rock songs featuring more Kings of Leon, Papa Roach, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Death Havana, and many more. I hope to see you there again. Thanks for watching and goodbye.